Whoa. You guys probably remember Andy from Go As Local, and today we're doing a food tour of Tirana. Andy, where are we headed first? Uh, we will start the day with a heavy breakfast with a pacha. It's a very good traditional Albanian soup, a bit spicy for a chilly day like today. It will go perfect. So you guys have probably maybe seen a video where I tried pacha for the very first time but we're trying it here as part of this whole tour, part of a traditional food experience. In Kirono there are not a lot of places to, who prepare this. There are three or four in total. They have good quality of it. I've tried in different places. They, they have kept it simple. You'll see by yourself, it's very simple, but it is delicious and gives you the idea of the traditional. And you can see all their menu, it's here. They have only six dishes. That pacha was a little bit different than what we had in poker dice. It was prepared a little bit differently. It didn't look as oily and it was, it seemed like it was much thicker, but it was good. I mean, they were both good. All right, Andy, what's next? Uh, well, we are heading to the new bazaar. It's been here for years, actually, but it's renovated recently, three years ago. And it's one of the 10th most interesting bazaars in all Balkan. Uh, it's a mix of uh, dry fruit, fruits, vegetables, souvenirs, most of the things you will need in your, uh, in your state in Iran. Uh, these are the, one of the most unique Albanian dried fruits. We have fig here, mm -hmm. put it in a straw. Uh, and then we have blackberries of two kinds. They, they are found in the north of Albania. These are found uh, in Kukus mm -hmm. and these are in Tropoia. And uh, it's the, the Albanian blackberries are the best uh, in, a, in, a, in a region, All right. in Old Balkan. All right. A sip of boza, which is a traditional Albanian drink. It's made uh, from the corn, gives you a lot of energy and it's very good also in the, in the summer season because it uh, keeps your uh, body heat down. Right. It's very, very healthy right. drink. Right. Wow. It's like a corn milk shake, kind of. Different taste. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I have a seat here is this local uh, kind of Starbucks yeah. when they do plenty of uh, coffees uh, and we are going to try one uh, traditional Albanian coffee. Okay. Okay. Guys, I haven't had coffee since I was 16. So that's 11 years ago. And for this video, I'm gonna try some Albanian coffee. I probably won't drink the whole thing, but I'll at least try a little bit. I'm nervous, this is weird. <laughs> do you drink coffee? No, I, I do sometimes, but I don't drink it enjoyably. <laughs> Think it and think it. <coughs> oh, yep. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, do, I still don't like coffee. <laughs> Ooh. Woo! Is it enough? We drank our, our coffee, <laughs> Turkish drink, coffee, yeah. technically, right? Yeah, yeah. Albanian. Al yeah. Albanian. Okay. There, well, there is a difference. Comments, between. comments will disagree with you, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we can start a fight in the comments amongst the Turks and the Albanians. <laughs> hey, that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. And now we are headed to have lunch at local grill. Albanian grill restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basic. It's a very interesting story. It's called Tumi which means in Albanian means smoke and when they opened the restaurant at 92 uh, the, these guys didn't have this branding experience because 
they were in the communities for, for 50, 50 years, so they don't know even to pick a name. Right. So, because their restaurant makes a lot of smoke, they just call it Fumi. So we have here, we have started with meatballs. It's typical meal of Albania. Uh, you also may find it in the Balkan as well. And we have, uh, this is the one of the most traditional uh, sausages, sausages of Albania and Kosovo as well. This came actually from Kosovo. And we have a mix of uh, different sauces here. But we are uh, waiting for some chicken, some parts of the chicken. So we're ending this this food tour. We're ending this tour in the middle of the main square in Tirana, Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg Square. Skanderbeg Square. There's a giant statue of Skanderbeg over here somewhere, right there. I can't tell where I'm pointing on the camera. It's over there somewhere. I think you can see it. Andy, what's a what's an interesting fact about Skanderbeg uh, Square? And the interesting fact behind that all these stones that have paved this, paved the square, they are brought from different regions of Albania. So it. And when I say different regions, it means also uh, outside the Albanian border. So apart from being the main square of Albania, it is also like a symbol that every uh, city or every region have their own representatives here in the main square of, of Albania. Wow. And it kind of symbolizes our unity. Yeah, between that's super us. cool. It, it's an interesting fact, yeah, yeah. Well, if you want to do a, this food tour, Go check out Andy's website, link in the description, go as local. And um, yeah, that's all we got for you today. We'll see you next time.